Okay, I'm going to talk about the properties of an object. Different objects have different properties. To find the properties, click the drop down button and go to the bottom properties option. Or you can also click the properties tab here. Once you have the properties tab open, you'll see that there's different things that you can do. You can do a solid effect. I can change my colors. I can use a gradient fill. I can decide if I want it to be vertical. There's lots of different options. I can change my transparency. I can change my line style. You get the idea. I can make it dotted. There's also object animation, so much like PowerPoint, so I can get things to spin. When an object is click and repeat for, how about twice? And instead of when an object is click, when the page is entered. So I'm going to leave this page, I'm going to come back to this page, and my object will spin. And it will continue to spin twice, as I instructed. Page recording, you can actually get your page to record. So I'm going to make a little page recording, start my recording now, the record button shows up, I need one of these, and then maybe I will give some kind of equation, one plus one equals two, whoops, two. And I will stop my recording. Stop recording. Now you'll notice at the bottom of my screen, I have some play buttons. So if I, I think I can marquee select that. Oh, I lied. I can press the play button and it will play what I've recorded. Try it out. And if you'd like to get rid of that, there's my one plus one. You can click the X right here and you delete that recording. So you no longer have a recording there. Test those things out, see what you like, see what you don't like. The other thing that I forgot to mention here is you also have save tool to properties. If I really like this box that I just created, I have the option of saving the tool that I created to properties. If you would like to have a box and customize your box, so I will make a perhaps a little blue box because it's going to be my one box my one cube. I need to select my cube and I'm going to do a solid fill. It's going to be my single unit cube and I want to have that as one of my options always. I can click on that option. I can change the line style. Maybe I want it to be little, very thin so you can't hardly see it. I could actually make it blue as well. And I can save this item to my tool properties by clicking this button here. Now my square up here is blue. So anytime I want to make a blue square, I can select that white triangle, blue square. If I'd like to undo that, I can do that as well.